welcome to Play Nice. Uh, today we're going to play some Game Dev Tycoon. So this is a, a little game by Green Heart Games. It's, it's been out for a while. We've had a little bit of experience with it. Um, but today we're going to start a new game. So welcome. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation you've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Let's see if we can do that. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your up-and-coming company a name. Well, I think that's quite straightforward. Don't see why it would need to be anything but. Right, let's have a look. That looks a bit better. So let's continue with that. Um, William will import all the old hints. If, not that I've got that many. Started a few games, not done so well. But we're going to start by developing a new game. So let's see to what topic we've got. We've got zombies, martial arts, crime, and dungeon. I think. Let's go old school and start with a dungeon adventure and that'll work on either. It's cheaper to develop it on PC so I'm going to go with that for now. Um, dungeon adventure games. Well, there's, there's the old fables that Dungeon and Dragons so could go along those lines. What else is there? There's uh... oh, that game's totally slipped my mind. Diablo series. That's kind of a, that's more of a dungeon um, action game. Though. So let's um... dungeon and adventure. First game names. I always struggle with the first game names. Um, it's dungeon. Ad Let's just call it Dungeon Adventure. Um, we'll go for graphics because we're starting just at that point where we could do graphics. Right, so engine's not so important. Quests are very important. Gameplay is not too important, so we'll do them a bit like that. The hints do really work well in the game. If you play, you play through a couple of times, you can uh, you can get quite a few hints just in the starting bit. Right, so dialogues are important. Level design is not too important. Artificial intelligence is rather unimportant. So the way you get these hints is by uh, doing reports of the games when you've finished. So world design high, graphic design's quite high and sounds not so good. Not so necessary, sorry. So when you complete a game you get the opportunity to generate a game report. Once you've generated the game report it, it, it gives you these hints back so you don't have to write them down on bits of paper or, or remember them right. That's our game finished. Let's pull our experience in and release the game. Our first reviews are in for Dungeon Adventure. Let's see what the thought I'm expecting sixes across the board for our first game. Anything higher is a bonus. If we get lower it's just because we haven't uh, selected an option quite as well as we could have. I think that's good. Sixes and sevens across the board. Enjoyable by informed gamer. Play nice, a newcomer in the game industry has just released their first game, Dungeon Adventure. The game received favourable reviews with such a good start. Play nice is sure to gain fans quickly. Right, so while we're busy doing that, we will generate the game report. This is what gives you the information that helps you choose what you select. Dungeon Adventure sold 2,788 units since first week on the market. It's in the charts at number 53. 
good for a start. Dungeon Adventure was so successful we now have 13 fans. Couple of research points going in there, they'll come in handy shortly. Alright, that, oh, that's void of research, let's look at our game report. Our post-release analysis of Dungeon Adventure, story and quest is very important for this type of game, which we kind of already knew. Alright, let's see, what can we research? We can research new topics or a custom engine. Let's release, let's develop another game, can we? So let's do, let's go for crime. What can we have? Um, a crime adventure, a crime simulation. Let's go for a crime adventure. Adventure works best on either. So we'll pick PC again because it's slightly cheaper to develop on. Um, crime adventure. Shall we go uh, crime scene investigation? Play nice. 2D graphics again, V1, we'll get V2 shortly when the upgrade. So story and quests is high, that needs to come down a little bit more, that can come down a little bit. So sales record, Dungeon Adventure has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Play Nice. We're still ranking at 95 on the charts and still raking in a reasonable amount of money from, from those sales. Right, dialogues. Full. Pick that up a little bit and pull that down slightly. Chances are, if we do this wrong, we could end up just developing adventure games forever. Not that there's anything wrong with adventure games. Pull that up a little bit more. A little bit for the balance. I'm trying to get the three sliders to, to balance enough and give you just what you want in the game. Right, let's get those bugs squashed. Oop, there's bonus technology, and that's it. So, getting a bit more experience there, and we will release the game. First reviews are in. CSI Play Nice. Forget. Not doing so well this time. Five. Five. It looks like a uh, crime and crime adventure is not quite what we would want it to be. Not bad, not good, all games. Right, Dungeon Adventure is now off the market, sold 12,658 copies and made 88,639 in sales. Not bad for a first game. It's not like we have Steam. So the Giovodo G64 is outselling the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, great availability and flexible hardware over their home computers. Experts say this will spell the end of computing hardware manufacturers. Tell you what, you tell that to Corsair and Asus and uh, who else have we got? Cooler Master and see what they say. Right, what are we going to do next? Let's generate that game report. Gives you a bit of research points, and the research points mean we can un we can research and unlock other things as we go on through the game. Go game report. Crime and adventure is a bad combination. Level design is not very important for that type of game, so we thought crime and adventure would be a bad combination, and I was right. But we did it anyway. Let's see what could we still can't research the custom game engine, which is the next research I really want to do. So let's develop a new game. So. We've got martial arts, what can go with martial arts? Um, let's do martial arts action game, that could be fairly straightforward. Action works fine on either. There's a slightly higher market share on the G64 for the dev cost. I think it is worth it. So um, let's call it Kick. Nice. Use those V1 2D graphics as well. I, I tend to stick with the uh, 2D graphics initially and we will upgrade them to uh, 
the 3D graphics when the technology becomes available. According to Jap rumours, Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is widely known for the successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we're eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. Right, so dialogue is very unimportant. Level design, kind of important. Artificial intelligence, very intelligence, very important. So let's get that developed in. Starting to uh, run down on the on the money a bit. Right, world design is not too important. Graphics are very important. Sound is two pluses. Squash them um, bugs out. Oop, bonus design. Let's see what our CSI play nice did. 5,087 units and generated 35,644 in sales. Not bad, that's almost what we put in the bank. Right, kick nice. Two new records. Right, let's release that game and see how well it does. Can we get our game report in? First reviews are in. So five, seven, six. Could have been better, all games. Well, yes, it's, you kind of assume it's only our third game produced. There we go, Nintendo's confirmed recent rumours. It's going to release the console called Tez early next year. The console features cartridge based games. Did, did like a nice cartridge, but end up being more expensive than CDs. Uh, and a uniquely designed controller. Fancy that not having to use a keyboard and mouse. What did we. How this will change the world. Right, kick nice complete, we've got the following results. Level design is quite unimportant for this type of game. Right, it's currently ranking at 63. And here comes contract work. Hi there, I've just finished kick nice and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and we could use skill like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see if I have some work from you. Jason. I don't think we'll ever meet this Jason blog, but hey we can always we can always do contract work if we need the money. Let's see, play test, that'll give us a quick some quick money but it also generates very important research points. Can't do much without the research points. Oh, we're gonna do it. Failed. Oh dear, that was an easy one as well. Jason, yeah I see the contract was not completed in time. Be careful what contracts you accept otherwise those penalties could quickly add up. Don't worry too much though, I don't hold grudges. If you want to try again, let me know. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back. Well, I think what we'll do is we're going to research our custom game engine. Now we can't really afford to make the custom game engine just yet. But, if we research it now, then we don't have to research it later. So we'll research this and then we'll, we'll, build, our, we'll build our next game. Kick Nice is now off the market. Sold 13,488 units, generating 94,000, just, just over 94,000 in sales. Right, research is now complete. So, let's have a look. Let's, um, let's develop a new game. What have we not done yet? We've not done zombies. Um, what we're gonna do a zombie a zombie action game um, what we're gonna do this on should we do this on the, the G64 still got quite a high market share um, play 
play with zombies. Alright, so we want engine up. That should be, yep. Yeah. Pull the stories and quests down a little bit. Alright, platform news. Today the game platform tells by an inventor has been released. Points aren't coming up as high as I would like, but dialogue's down, level design up a little bit, and artificial intelligence high, that's good. Right, and I'll just eke that up a little bit and down slightly. Actually, we should get mono audio shortly on level that uh, basic audio up a bit. Right, let's squash those bugs. New software software raid. It's a bit of a, a bit of an in geeky joke there. There we go, that's our stuff leveled up. Let's release our game. There we go. Game tutorials and mono sound they'll be good for our engine. Now let's do research on said mono sound while we wait for the reviews to come in. Here they are, see what we get. I'm hoping to get uh, sevens or eights, but not so good with a six. Looks like we're going to be getting sixes across the board, are we? Quirky but good. That's not what we want to hear. What is it? Shows potential. Sixes across the board. Finish this research. Oh, we're getting a bit low on cashola. There we go, that sorted that out. Ranking 31 in the charts. Alright, research is now complete. It's researched mono sound. Let's get our game report. Because that again generates us these research points. Post analysis of play with zombies is complete. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Lovely. Let's see what what can we research. Do we need game tutorials yet? Let's put game tutorials in. Uh, we're away a ways away from developing a new um, our own engine yet, which will really help uh, with the game development. All right, there we go. We successfully researched game tutorials. So it looks like, uh, let's see if we can find some contract work. That seems a fairly, fairly quick job. Be done quite quickly. Let's see if we can get enough money up so we can develop our next game quickly. There we go. Play with zombies finished. Uh, 15,000 units, 107,000 cash in sales. Not bad. And there's our success with that contract. Let's. Uh, more contract work could do it's fairly, oh that's fairly quick library software as you level up your character you can uh, you develop things a bit faster you uh, do better uh, the recent platform news the recently released Tez home console by an inventor has proven to be a massive success sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far one customer says, I love the games that come with the Tez and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Right, and there's a contract success. Right, let's have a look at developing a, a new game. Is there anything we haven't done? No, let's uh, research a new topic. What can we have? Hunting, virtual pet, government or werewolf? Um. Well, Virtual Pet would give us our first simulation game, wouldn't it? I think that could be quite fun. Right, you successfully researched Virtual Pet. I don't remember these coming out much before the 90s, but... Let's make one in what is a all intents and purposes the uh, late 70s, early 80s. 
Right, let's make that a simulation. Simulation works best on PC. That will be a Oop, nice pet. Great combo. That's what we like to see. Gonna have to be graphics space. I've never thought of text pet. Right, so we'll turn that engine down. Turn the gameplay up and turn the quests up slightly. Cool. The numbers are getting higher as we're developing. It's a good thing to see. So artificial intelligence should be high. That should be high. We'll just bring the dialogues up a little bit there. See how these hints really do help with, yeah, building, building it. So I'd say we want to increase that. We want to drop that slightly. Increase that slightly. We want to down that a little bit more. Down this a little bit more. There we go. We want this game to do well, so we can develop our engine. There we go. Recent studies suggest increasing variety of game devices also creates a market for more specialised games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for the more mature age groups. Okay. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. So new research is available now, target audience. Alright, we seem to have finished developing that game. Engine reminder, don't forget creating custom game engines. See, we, we knew we, we knew we were going to have to create a game engine soon, and here it is telling us in the game we have to do that. So, let's see how nice Pet does. There we go, and release. First reviews are in for our newly released game, Nice Pet. And I think we're going to... No, we'll, we'll check the reviews. We'll see where we go from there. Eight played it for days. Oh, we're gonna get some eights and nines, that would be nice. Give us a chance to get our engine in if we could get some higher scores. No, it looks like it's a one off eight. There it goes. Essentially sevens across the board. There we go. And oh, and there's a the V now rumour. So I think that this is a this is a nice place to to, to stop. Um, if you like the video, leave us a like. Otherwise, uh, leave, drop us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, keep playing nice. <laughs>